Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of wild and crazy kids in love that love some wild card Wednesdays. It's wild card Wednesday. Yeah. And so for this wild card Wednesday, we're getting back to Halo. That won our uh, poll that we have. You can go ahead and check that out in the community section and vote on next week's wild card Wednesday. This is Halo, a hero's journey, which is a fan film. Um, okay. Looking forward to this. This has yeah. been uh, on our request list for a while. And we do want to get back to playing some Halo. We got to get to ODST and then um, continue on there and reach and everything. Um, but yeah. So if you want all of our Halo reactions, check out the description of this video for a playlist. We also have played Halo on the channel as well. Um, so some fun couch co-op and some live streams between us. Oh yeah. We kill each other a lot. A lot. Yeah. We also drive off cliffs. Yeah, for sure. A lot. <laughs> This is a fan film. This looks very impressive. I know. It's beautiful. My dad used to bring me here so we could watch the stars together. Wow. Mm -hmm. Before he left, my dad always found a way, even when nobody else did. He was my hero. What does it mean to be a hero? My dad said, the biggest heroes are those who grow beyond their limits. They carry on when everybody else has already given up. One day, I'm gonna be a hero myself. Because they have those shields. Mm -hmm. Seriously, so they're playing laser tag. Yeah. Air support's not getting through. Here. And here. Anti aircraft turrets. I'm gonna take on like other Spartans and I'm gonna take on like the Floofer. Nice moves. Yeah. Let's focus. <laughs> yep, he's got your back. Come on, keep moving. We're almost there. Oh, your friend's going down. Jump on it. On a grenade. Yep.
does it mean to be a hero? My dad said, the biggest heroes are those who grow beyond their limits. They carry on when everybody else has already given up. Alright, you sons of bitches. You stole his necklace. Yep. Or is that your friend? No, okay. <laughs> Just because, like, it looked yeah, like yeah, a very yeah. narrow waist, I wondered if it was a girl at first. Take your helmet off. Take your helmet off. Hmm. It's a good twist. Wow. Mm hmm. Hmm. You've kept your promise. I got you. Do it so you mm -hmm. don't have to shoot me. Yep. for the people you love, even if it costs you everything. You sound like my dad. <laughs> Here, it's from him. It will protect you and remind you of our friendship. I can't. Take it, Raoul. You give it back one day when you're no longer needed. Mm -hmm. I will. I promise. Good time. Mm -hmm. Well played, bro. Until we meet again. Yeah, you, yeah, it's pose. We all did a great job. We're the heroes. All of us. That was really great. 
um, really heartfelt, uh, good uh, fight choreography as well. Um, I did not see that twist coming, though you did call out like the, you thought you just had him reverse and who it was, but you thought the other one was going to be the girl. Which, you know, as as a filmmaker's perspective was really smart because the the woman who would have had like the narrower waist and the womanly figure was more like armored with like bulky stuff mm. on her that masked what her size was. So like when he comes in and he doesn't have all that stuff, he t looks narrower just by the nature of like yeah. not having a bunch of bulky stuff on him and yet he's the guy and she's the girl. Yeah. So what does it mean to you to be a hero? Ah, that's a good question. Um, oh, jeez. Um, I don't think I have a good answer for that. Do you have a good one? I mean, a couple of things come to mind. One mm -hmm. is the courage to act in the face of your fear. Okay. Um, to do what is right or what you, what you believe to be right. And ideally to protect others, which I mean, that doesn't mean you have to like jump in front of a bullet for someone like that can take a variety of mm -hmm. different forms. But I think the ability to act courageously in the face of your fear and to be willing to do what is right and to protect others. That, that's how I would sum it up. Um, yeah, I, I would say like uh, to be willing to sacrifice uh, what matters to you in the name of uh, a cause or a purpose that matters to, uh, that's a, to the betterment of the majority. Um, Cause I think it's, you know, so many times we think about a hero and we think of, you know, like firefighters and, and policemen and soldiers and people that are putting their lives on the line, um, you know, for uh, ideals and protection and um, to save other people. Um, and that's like absolutely a hero, but I think you can be a hero um, in other ways as well. Uh, and I don't necessarily think it has to be um, you're sacrificing something. So I'm just, I'm, I, you know, I think about heroes of people that like are just uh, doing like volunteer work and um, making a difference mm -hmm. in, in people's lives. Um, you know, I don't know. They're not necessarily like sacrificing a great deal. Like, you know, they're putting in like their time and their energy and everything like that. So that's like a, a, a sacrifice that they're, that they're doing. Um, and a lot of times, you know, it's just for like, uh, you know, no money or little to no money. Um, and, you know, like teachers can be can be heroes, uh, comes to mind. Um, so I think it's just a really, yeah, for me, that's why it's like so tough to, to define it. I think you said something that I would I would definitely uh, steal from your answer and add to my own. Okay, I go for is it. The willingness to put the greater good above self-interest. Yeah. Okay, that's a better it, way. To, that's, a, that's a more succinct way to say it. I think in society right now, there's a lot that kind of conditions us to mm -hmm. think of self-interest. Um and I mean, you should be thinking about your health and wellness and that of mm -hmm. your family. Like that's not that's not something that you shouldn't think of. Yeah. But when you're like, screw everybody else, I want this and this is to my betterment. Now now you're going down like the villain path. Yeah. Um, so I think a hero is somebody who not only is able to understand and work towards their own own well-being, but also to understand the needs of the greater good and to put those ahead of their own self-interest. I also think it's um, a lot of times we're in, it's such an either or thing with yeah. uh, in society where it's just like you either are this or if you're not that, then you are something else. So it's like right. you either are a hero or if not, then you're a coward. Um, and I don't think it has to be either one. I think there's a spectrum there. And I think that, you know, not everyone is going to be a hero. Not everyone has to be a hero. Um, not everyone may necessarily always gets the opportunity to be a hero. Um, and so, like you said, like, you know, for people that aren't, don't want to like, you know, they, they have a lot, they think about their family and, 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 uh, people that they love and they don't want to put themselves in, in, in that kind of harm, harm's way, uh, for that reason. Um, I don't think that makes you like a coward or anything, uh, you know, and then you can be heroic in other ways. Like we said, like you don't always have to like put your life on the line in order yeah. to be a hero. But yeah, just because you're not someone that like always sacrifices for the greater good, I don't think that makes you um, like a very selfish person or like I said, like a coward or anything. I mean, I think it just kind of makes you more normal. Like you just, you know, there doesn't have to be, uh, you know, hero is something that's, that's special and something that not everyone, um, yeah, and so that's why we revere them so much because it's 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 out of the ordinary. But I think like, I mean, obviously in the Halo universe, we're talking about like they're in a war zone. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. 
but I mean, I think you can do, you literally can challenge yourself to do an act of heroism every day that is small. Like mm. if you see a kid at school getting bullied and you stop it, that is an act of heroism. That is absolutely, you are yeah. being a hero to that other kid. There's no question. Um, so like, you don't have to take a bullet. You literally can just, if something's happening that you know to be wrong and you step in or or even deflect, like you don't have to like yeah. challenge the bully and get in their face. I mean, like this doesn't have to be violent or confrontational. Mm -hmm. It can be something like deflect, deflect with humor. Mm -hmm. That could be a great tool to yeah. like be a hero to someone without having to put yourself in, in like a dangerous situation. Um, you know, I think when we talk about thinking of the greater good before self-interest, obviously being the year that it is, I think of, of voting. Mm -hmm. Voting is an act of heroism, in my opinion. Being able to say like, hey, yeah, I want X, Y, and Z. I also recognize that kind of like the country needs X, Y, and Z that's different from my X, Y, and Z. And like the planet probably needs like another set of, of things. <laughs> and like being able to think about all of that and not just me, myself, and I and what I want. Like that to me is also an act of heroism. Um, so you can challenge yourself to do these in very small ways. Paying someone a compliment. God, you don't know what day they're having. That yeah. compliment truly could be a heroic act to that person who's feeling really crappy right now. That's you make a good point as far as like, you know, we think of heroism as these big gestures. Um, and so looking for smaller ways to impact, uh, you know, someone else's day, the, the world around you, um, even like, you know, we talk about, oh, yeah, people have to like be willing to sacrifice their friends and their family. It's like you can be a, a hero to your to your friends and family and to, you know, to your spouse. Uh, Bethany, is, Bethany is my hero. So. Ken's my hero too. <laughs> Aaron, aren't we disgustingly yeah, happy now? Like that's now we're gonna end. That was just, ugh. Yeah, gross. sickly sweet. Gross. Yeah. <sighs> Anyways, uh, thanks for checking out our, our reaction to Halo. I can't believe we, I can't believe we did that. <laughs> so, oh my god. Uh, uh, yeah. Thanks for checking out our reaction to Halo: A Hero's Journey. Um, just keep in mind that our reaction is definitely not definitive. Uh.